What's occurring, Battle fans? I'm Fredomion, and I'm back with the top plays of the week for TBU Season 3, Week 3. Just want to give a quick apology for the inconsistent uploads last week. Both mine and Gabriel's internet uh, went down at the same time, so things were a little bit off. But let's get into our number four. We're going to start off uh, with the Tampa Bay Luxrays and their coach, Monitui. Mono um, has played a really good game to this point. The St. Louis Sableyes have got one Pokemon left, which is the Thunderous. It's got one Life Orb hit left in it. Knowing that the Kyurem B is going to go down to a Dark Pulse, Mono is going to switch into his Gligar because he knows that he can take the Dark Pulse and live, and the Thunderous is going to go down afterwards, which is going to allow him to get that one more in Differential, which is very important in League play because it can be a tiebreaker sometimes. Now we're going to go into number three, and we're heading over to the St. Louis Chatot. <laughs> got the names right this time, as he's got his Hooper C in against uh, Manaphy, and he manages to go for a Scarf Destiny Bond, as the Manaphy does go for the Surf, and he's going to be able to take the Manaphy down with him, which is of course lovely for the St. Louis Chatot, because Manaphy is a threat, as I'm sure you will have seen in lots of other leagues recently. Now we're going to go straight into our number two. And we're going to go over to Xenon and the Sublime Salamences and the Hariyama. Xenon is trying to trade away his Hariyama at the moment, but these series of plays show why Hariyama is a really good Pokemon. He predicts a bug to come in as he goes for the Fire Punch, goes for the Bullet Punch, expecting the kill but not quite managing it, and go and takes the knockoff. Then he goes for the Earthquake as he predicts the Volcanion to switch in, expecting Sky to expect another Bullet Punch. Now we're going to go straight to number one, and we're going to go over to Pokemon Trip HD and the Dallas Star Aviators. He's got a sturdy Avalug, takes the Volt Switch from this Manetric, and he's got a Miracle in the back. Now expecting the Slow King to come in, he's going to go for the Miracle. And that is huge considering the Wolverhampton Weavers have used Slow King so well in the past couple of weeks. And that is going to go straight down. So that's been my top plays of the week this week. Do you agree with my plays? If you do, let me know in the comment section. If you don't, then let me know down there as well. And I'll see you next time, Battle Fans.